<clears throat> What's going on, everybody? The Aerie Lord is here. Welcome back to another Walking Dead vlog. This one going into Season 10, but this is also just about the Walking Dead universe in particular because it deals with the character of Rick Grimes. So, of course, we can't be talking about the show because our beloved Rick Grimes left the show last season, but he is going to bigger and better places, I hope. Um, I just wanted to talk about whether you guys thought that Rick would be in a coma when he wakes up from wherever this government, A, B, Jadis society, heapster, junkyard, whatever the heck you want to call it, place is that Rick ended up. <clears throat> because six years pass from season for, for from episode 5 of season 9 to episode 6 and many characters grow up new actors are used we know this we've been with them for a few episodes now all throughout the rest that remaining portion of season 9 the really great stuff that we got with the whisperers but what was rick doing in those 6 years would could we say that a, another coma maybe jumped some past some time and do we even think that Rick Grimes is alive in the current storyline of The Walking Dead? And I'm talking where Judith is, uh, I mean, how old would we she say, you know, eight, nine, ten years old? You know, the, the, the present day Walking Dead where we're going into season ten. You know, as these things are going on, as events are going on and playing out in The Walking Dead, do we think that Rick Grimes is like out there or are the movies going to deal with the past the immediate like immediately when that helicopter got to the facility or is there going to be a coma where maybe he's out for a year and then he wakes up and has to reacquaint himself um it's always a question like what is the big and this is the biggest question i have and i hope that the answer is satisfying when scott gimple and the team uh get to to answer this, but what is the reason that Rick is unable to go back to Virginia, back to Alexandria, to see Michonne and Judith? This, his family is still out there, and you would think that after being patched up and healed after a few months or whatever, he needs to recover from those uh, from the rebar injury that he suffered in season nine. What's preventing him from going back and seeing his family? And so I'm kind of asking a two-pronged question here about whether Rick is still in a coma or is he even alive during the events of season 9, season 10? And what what is it going to like what's the what's the reasoning that Rick can't go see his family? I've always thought that wherever he is, it's a place that you can't come back from. And there's a conversation, it's very brief, but in the early episodes of Season 9, which I really consider kind of the epilogue of Season 8, because it was really dealing with the leftover fallout from the war with the Saviors, where the Saviors have to reestablish themselves with the communities. Uh, we had the Oceanside plotline where they were snatching saviors because they were still frustrated. Maggie still wanted vengeance on Negan. She wasn't happy about the prison sit prisoner situation with Negan. Uh, Daryl wasn't either. Rick was trying to keep the peace with everybody. And so when we had that going on, there was a conversation that occurred. And one of the things that was built up in those episodes was actually the relationship between Father Gabriel and Jadis. They had a very brief romantic flame that only lasted a few episodes, but Gabriel followed Jadis to the junkyard because she was trying to communicate with the helicopter some deal, something. We still don't know the full story behind that, and we're really going to discover the mystery behind the junkyard and the heapsters who were introduced in Season 7, and we don't know the full story behind them. Obviously, Simon massacred most of them, and so Jadis is the only one that hold those memories of of what they did obviously we know they were plunderers they take they didn't bother they spoke in very weird dialogue nobody really liked them but it was mainly because we didn't know much about them and obviously we can see in the long term the show set them up mainly because they were going to be the central their deals with this group with the helicopter and the whole mystery was a setup for the rick grimes movies and a separate plot line so they never had the intention of 
addressing it in the Walking Dead television show because I thought that they were going to. When the Junkyard group ran away at the end of Season 7, I thought, all right, in Season 8, we're going to have All Out War, but we're also going to have an explanation as to who the Junkyard people are. We never got that. They played a very minimalistic role. They were massacred, as I said. Um, but to get back to that conversation... Jadis makes the offer to Gabriel, like, we can leave, there's a place, it's far away, but once we go there, we can't come, like, she had made, alluded to the fact that when they leave and they go there, they cannot come back, so it would seem like there's something, maybe like a government testing, um, some type of Alcatraz-like prison where you just cannot leave this place, uh, and... Is art like, and that would then beg the question: Will the movies deal with almost like a prison break, where like Rick has to band together with other prisoners, maybe to escape? Maybe he's going to dedicate his life to trying to discover a cure, helping these A and B government people. I'm gonna. That's what I'm calling them. I'm assuming it's the government or the remnants of the government, or almost like if you guys have played Fallout, it's kind of like the Enclave, where like old, old. Fra um, old factions of the government came together and formed a new government that was just made from pieces of the old, and they were trying to exact some end. Now, we don't know if this group will be good or it will be bad, because if they have good intentions, then Rick will be working towards a common goal with them, perhaps. But if they're bad, then Rick is going to be trying to escape, maybe, you know, enlisting Jadis' help. Honestly, Jadis is going to be our, our parrot, and she's going to be our, well, she's going to be our interpreter. Sorry, not parrot, more of our interpreter, because she's going to be probably introducing Rick to people. She's going to be explaining how this whole system worked. Um, and that's really going to be our introduction. But I'm curious as to where he is in those because six years is a long time man I mean that's a long time for someone to just be gone and I just hope the explanation is satisfactory as to where Rick ends up so let me know what you guys think where do you think Rick is when season 10 because obviously filming I made that vlog season 10 filming has started but it also t like like if Maggie's gonna return like I'm I'm just thinking to myself like what is preventing Rick? Like, because we know Rick is out there. We know he's out there, but is he alive six years later? Are the movies just going to deal with that in-between time period uh, in the six years? Uh, we don't know. We don't know. But um, we, we know that he can't return within those six years because he doesn't come back in the show. So the movies can't have him come back at any earlier time. So uh, we'll have to wait and see. But I'd like to know your thoughts and opinions in the meantime. So... Thanks, guys, and um, stay tuned for more vlogs. I'm pumping them out now that the atrocity of the finale of Game of Thrones of their whole series is over. Don't have to talk about that anymore. We can just focus solely on The Walking Dead and uh, move steadily towards Fear the Walking Dead review vlogs, which I am going to do. I think you guys are going to be very happy about that. I think this season has a lot to be excited for, and I'll discuss that in later vlogs. Uh, and then the trailer, the Comic-Con, San Diego Comic-Con summer trailer for season 10 that we we get uh, annually. So um, all those things to look forward to. And um, as always, uh, comment, rate, subscribe, and stay tuned for more content. Thanks. See ya.